<laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I don't even think you're going to be able to get it out. <laughs> I love a story that starts off with, well, yesterday. Okay, so we started our season, right? We're uh, in Phoenix. That was our season opener for NHRA. And we are on tour. So we are staying out on the West Coast. And my fiance, Bobby, was driving my rig over. And it's the three of us in there. <laughs> we get off at the truck stop over in uh, Rialto or Riverside or wherever we're at. And this guy comes in with like these huge tires on the back of his truck. <laughs> Like the big giant like mover like, ones, like oh, like that huge, like take up the huge. whole. Yeah, it's like a, a size yeah. of a car. Oh, uh -huh. oh. Yeah. Then, <laughs> so Bobby, <laughs> there, silence. We're sitting in silence too, and Bobby goes, "Hey, you ever think that that truck driver just gets tired?" Neither one of us laugh, and I get where he's going, and I look at him and I go, "Not too tired." <laughs> Like 45 oh minutes after that. <laughs> like we're literally getting back on the freeway. We're still laughing about it. <laughs> when we got to the racetrack and he left us to go back to his team on the other side of the pit area, he's walking away and I was like, hope you're not too tired. <laughs> Welcome to High Octane Hustle. I'm Fastlane Jane. And I'm Design Muse. And we are super stoked that you guys are here. Wow, holy cow. Oh my Our gosh. Joke. Oh yes. my god. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing. So So, who are these ladies? <laughs> We're just the standing comedians for this show. I don't know. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. So this is Krista. What's up, guys? And that's her friend Katie. I'm just a plus one here. <laughs> I love you this. You got the invitation. I love this. The plus one. The plus one. So, Krista, who are you? <laughs> Step in. Tell, Tell us, us and our audience about you. Okay, audience. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Krista Baldwin, and I drive a top field dragster in the NHRA. Yes. Yes. Goes wild. Yes. Oh, oh, I like how all of us instantly. <laughs> yeah. Girl yeah. power. Because yeah. it's just badass. Well, think about it. How fast do you get to go? Uh, this last weekend, I went 321 <laughs> miles an hour. Ooh, yes. ooh, ooh. That's not. How that many horsepower so does that car That's 11,000 horsepower right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. My truck. Uh -huh. I mean. 11,000. Yeah. Not 1,100. Yeah. 11,000. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Sorry, yes. boys. Yes. Sorry, boys. It's just okay. a whole bunch of nitromethane supercharged goodness. Yeah. That I absolutely love. <laughs> the kind that burns your eyes. Uh -huh. yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Oh, my gosh. I feel like and, it puts a permagrin on her face. Oh. oh yeah. Um, Hells yeah. 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 Uh, it's miles per gallon. <laughs> oh. That's usually what we oh, like to yeah. refer to. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, you're the jokester. Yeah. I like I this. Like okay. 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 And, and, and jokester. What's your name? Uh, my name is Katie Butera. I just hang out with Crystal. <laughs> oh my God. Well, <laughs> well I don't know. I think she's pretty badass, though, too. What do you think? I, I think, think so. I, th I think the more everyone's going to know how badass you are as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you hang out with Crystal all the time, you kind of got to be cool. Cause, like, that's what I was thinking. Badasses only hang out in twos. Like, you can't just have one that's okay. I mean, this is the right. KV club here. Yeah, the K KV thing. club. Yeah. I love it. It's it's our hashtag. I love it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Well, uh, we were actually having a little discussion before this and about both of you. And, and really, there's some legacy to both of that too, and and I was looking at yours, and you you had that. What did you? What did it say? Legacy, We're the uh, legacy babies. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Love that. Yeah. And Ex so here's a good thing. Explain what that means to our audience. So for us, especially in the drag racing community, there's not a lot of trickle down generationally. Like yeah. it stopped with the baby boomer game or whatever your grandparents played. And then that was it. Well, for us, we're third generation. Our grandfathers were race car guys, we're car guys. Then our parents came along and stayed in the game. And then now we came along and we're, as I like to say, keeping the name in the game. Awesome. And oh, we're, we're the legacy babies. And there's, awesome. when you walk through the pit area, we're very outnumbered anymore, but all of us are doing something to, to keep it going along. So, yeah. So with that in mind, who is your grandpa? My grandfather is John Butera. He was a car builder, and more famously, he is the the king of the billet aluminum. Sorry. Cheer for people now, like when people get round of applause. <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's gonna be lots of laughing. You haven't already figured that out. Yeah. Smiles. 
that per way. gallon. It's, it's a thing. Uh, it's yeah. a thing. Every yes. miles per hour too. Yes. Miles per hour. Oh, yes. yes. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So yes, that's what we were talking. He he was the innovator in, innovator of of the billet wheel. Yes. Wow, yes. that's a pretty yeah, big. and the block too, right? Block no. Marcel. No, well, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, thought, I thought that I, I thought that I read that he I mean, had we'll something to that, do. I was no, going to say that he had something to do with not just the wheel, but bringing an in innovation within the motor. Um, but I could be wrong. Not really. Google. I Google. I mean, it. not really. I mean, he, he, did, he was right? a machinist, awesome. and he was one of the I'm ones. A, I was, I was a machinist too. I, I love pretend that. Pretend to be a machinist. It was not I really my that. game. <laughs> I love that. But he was like. In that time when all the guys were building hot rods in their right. garage and stuff, yeah. every mm. single thing on his car that could be machined, he machined it. Sure, totally. And okay. he machined it by machine. hand. That's what you do. And yeah. he machined it before you had computers running the machines. Yep. Like he yep. did all by of hand. everything. Yep. Right. My mom Manual. jokes that there Old was school. a a trash bin, whatever, next to the machine, and there yep. would be 50 perfect side view mirrors in there. But to him, they were crap. Yeah. And so they had to go away and he'd start again. And he yeah. was that level of meticulous was everything, was the race cars, was the, all the hot rods, all the billet stuff he did. Like, right. you only did the very best of the best, and if it wasn't, it had to go away, and it didn't matter how good it was still. Yeah. So, no pressure. That's, that's, <laughs> try, it's a good thing you were a granddaughter. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a lot to um, live up to, but with that in mind, he really staked his claim as somebody who – was a game changer, was an icon, was ultimate trailblazer mm -hmm. within not just street rods, but F, uh, excuse me, IndyCar, IndyCar right? Yeah. 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 So the IndyCar part is, I think, my favorite part of tell, all of it. Tell our audience a little bit. You got to say the story. I know. Yeah. The story goes deep. <laughs> no, the, the IndyCar thing. So he got a Gurney Eagle from Gurney here and they let him go into the shop at night and after hours and build his car however he wanted. And that was not something you were allowed to do sure. at Gurney. Like yeah. right. only Gurney guys were allowed to be in there and doing stuff. And he was like, yeah, no, sorry. So he went in there, worked all night, would, would get the car ready. Um, he had all of our drag race friends help him fund the whole project, do the whole thing. Went to Indy. He only went to Indy because my mom was working in Simpson for years before that and would go to Indy every year and was like, dude, this is cool. You got to come do this. Like, yeah. you don't even know how cool this is. And so he went one year, thought it was awesome. And the next year he took that car and he went to Indy. And it was a big, big deal. He was the only one that built his car like that. He changed everything about that Eagle. It was not the same as the rest of the Eagles in the group. And it was cool. The and now we have it now in our possession. Yeah. Well, oh, wow. kind of. Dennis Firestone bought it. Dennis Varney, he was an old street rod guy. He helped them fund it when they were doing it. He took it after they were done with it and put it in a shop. And it just like like the cars here, sat up on a lift in the corner. No big deal. Caught dust for forever. Well, after my grandfather died, Dennis Varney called Dennis Firestone, who drove it, and said, hey, do you want to buy this car back? And Dennis said, absolutely, I do. Dennis has now restored it, and it comes back for Indy every year to do the vintage races and stuff. That's and so I get to cool. tow it up there through the pit area. Like, it's just, it's a whole thing. It's, it's turned That's into rad. way more fun now on this side of it. But it's probably the funnest part of, like, the squirrel moment of someone who was so good at what they did. But, hey, we went over here and we ran the Indy 500. Like, where yeah. did that come from? Yeah. Yeah. The headline was part. when drag racers go Indy 500 uh -huh. racing. Wow. That's crazy. amazing. It's wow. crazy. <laughs> well, and the fact that you still carry this on, mm -hmm. and it's dear, near and dear to our hearts because we're empowered women. We love to see other empowered women, and now you have an opportunity to empower even younger generations through what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And you know, not to, you know, knock guys out of the forum, but it's we'll uh, knock them out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> on the wrist track. Huh. <laughs> I believe but, this statement was girls rule. Boys yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what the teachers told us. I don't know. Oh, I love it. I love it. No, those that that type of story is just like you said, near and dear to your heart. And then having your mom having you know shared those stories, and then you coming up. Wow, that's to me that's super powerful. Yeah. No, definitely. I mean, we usually go into asking like you know what got you into cars, but. You know, like I said, we I mean, no we're, yeah, yeah, we start out we and no you, like you said, your legacy babies, it's, it's, it was like born in your blood. Mm -hmm. That was it. <laughs> there, there was no choice, but 
But then again, there is a choice because you know that you either love doing this or you don't. And right. you two both look like you love doing it, mm-hmm. especially you. Like I, <laughs> I, I mentioned right before this, I was like, Krista, I love that you're like, oh my gosh, I love doing burnouts. <laughs> I was like, yes. I do. I, th- that's the huge thing is, um, you know, there's a lot of second and third generation people that are in our sport, but yeah. they're doing it for the wrong thing. Yes. Yeah. Like they're not doing, like I sincerely love driving that race car. Yeah. Like, it's your passion. Like I love it. I love the adrenaline it gives me. I love the hard work, the months and months of work to right. go out there and run sub four seconds at 330 miles an hour is absolutely <laughs> insane. And just the, Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. yes but it just but i also appreciate the hustle and we both appreciate the hustle yeah. and it's a hustle it's it it's is. hard it's such it a is. deep Not hustle easy. yeah <laughs> and at any point there's someone ready to come right behind you and kick right? you out of the hustle yes. that's right? the biggest part of it is yeah you have to be on your game all yeah. the time yeah i tell you know like like I, I literally grind because, you know, welding and stuff like that, right? And I'm like, no, you you have to put some of that type of blood, sweat, and tears into what you're doing. Like, like it isn't, you know, yes, you, ha- you have to have an intention of like, oh, this is what I want to do and stuff. But you got to put the hard work in and it's consistent and it's it to stay up there takes that consistency too, you know, so... It's cool. It's great to see that. It's not just face value, though, either, because they go out and and there's got to be some prep that you have to do, you know, I... The, the hustle, right? But it's, again, what do you do to prep for an 11? I mean, how do you prep for 11,000 <laughs> horsepower? I, really? I was, you know what? And, and my question was even like, what it, What was it like the first time oh, that you drove a snap. car? Because 11,000 horsepower, it really is. It it's like, insane. I, yeah. I can't even fathom that. Uh-uh. I, yeah, yeah it, was, it was incredibly... Uh, uh, breathtaking. Um, I, my grandpa, it was when he was still racing. Uh, we, he went to St. Louis a few years ago and he's like, okay, Monday, you're going to get your license. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> but I've been working towards that cause I've, yeah. I've been driving for about 12 years now and I've driven like slower cars and just working my way up to a top alcohol dragster, which is like 5.2 seconds, 280 miles an hour. And so now to make this actual jump, you know, like this is a jump. Right. Yeah. And man, I was all wrecked the yeah. whole day. Yeah. I was wrecked. I didn't know what to do. And I'm like, this is horrible. And of course she was there with me. And uh, I love it. The second I got in the car, I started feeling a little bit more calm. But now the scariest part of the whole thing was the unknown. Sure. I had no clue what yeah. was going to happen. No. I had no clue what was going to. No when I hit that you. gas, <laughs> I have no clue what's going to happen. And of course, I hit the gas. I had an issue with my chin strap, so I lifted pretty quick. Uh, 60 foot run. Okay, fine. Got it out of the way. Okay, this is how the car works. Right. This is how the clutch works. This is All what right. it's going to feel like. This is what the right. burnout felt like. I'm like, okay, we got this. So next run in, they're like, hey, take it to half track or wherever you want, wherever you feel comfortable. Like, okay, cool. I'll probably just, you know, lift like half track. Like this thing's uh-huh. going to be like, <laughs> I, I did not lift half track. <laughs> I went all the way to the finish line. <laughs> and then that was my first official run was a 3.99 second run at 250 so miles an hour. The butterflies wow. kind of out the window. And it was like, I can She's like, call. nope, this is, this is what I do. Yes. Like I recalled every like step of that whole run yep. is like getting to 60 foot and you're like, wow, that was fast. And then yep. from 60 foot to the 330 mark, you're like, holy fuck, that was faster. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I couldn't stop. I'm like, this is insane. And I probably lifted maybe about like 700, 800 feet. And that's why my speed was down a little bit. But no, it was on track to run like a low 390 run. Mm-hmm. Like, insane. And the best part of all of that was that that car got totally rebuilt for Greeks last season, whatever. Mm -hmm. Because, like, the whole pit area wanted him to run good for, like, the last few races. Like, let's get him where this thing's right, and he could run his last 399. And he didn't do it. And then her run, her first run to the end, she goes 399. We're all like, yeah! Yeah. (laughs) Somebody got to do it. But it was, like, the perfect... (laughs) It was just, like, the perfect juju moment because all the guys that helped rebuild the car were on the starting line with us. So, like, everyone knew what the goal was. But then she 
got it. And we're like, yes, this is yeah. even better. Like, it was, yeah. it was so cool. It was even and better. Like, get out the top end. And, of course, I don't have a radio in the car, right? So mm-hmm. I have no clue until they come and get me that what I yeah. ran, right? So I'm just sitting there. I'm like, and I'm huffing and puffing. Right? It, it literally <laughs> takes so much oh out gosh. of you because, you know, the G-forces that I'm Standing experiencing. Standing on the sideline. I mean, it is the best feeling ever to be at the drag races. and I mean, I can feel it miles away. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. You can hear it. Yeah. Yes. But just to feel it go through your body, I can't even imagine yeah, in the like, car. It just, like, the adrenaline high was spectacular at that second yes. and of course here comes grandpa they're honking the horn whatever he gets out he's crying oh, he's like you did such a good job we're so all I, we're all crying and i start crying mom was crying she was crying <laughs> we're all like we're high five like, each other it was just like it was it was, awesome. it was a cool cool moment and it just like even the the real like just it was such a raw emotion yeah you know that yeah. i still feel and i yeah. get accused of this of Sometimes, like when I get out of the car, they're like, "You just look crazy," and I'm like, "Well, I just went on the ride of my right? life. Right? Like, I just—you don't even understand the fundamental. Like, just take it back. Like, I'm going, I'm oh, yeah. on the quickest accelerating vehicle in the planet, yeah. and only like hundred people yeah. have ever experienced this no, in totally. the whole world. And it's just like, but it's not like just." hammer down i mean there's some there's yeah. like something methodical you know, that's I happening can, right i could literally yeah. talk 20 yeah. minutes for a 3.8 second run sure yeah. on what everything that has happened yeah. in that, that 3.8 seconds yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just it's insane and i love it i love it so much we have time we have time <laughs> okay well when <laughs> you hit the gas <laughs> do the burnout <laughs> <laughs> well that's number one <laughs> you're like that's like you know the idea of <laughs> What pumps you up for racing? Is it just the burnout? I mean, all of it it is. Like uh, the, the burnouts this last weekend were pretty okay. spectacular. So yeah. here's this is what happened last weekend. <laughs> Tell we us changed, what happened. We changed some and stuff when you on say the car. Last weekend, this is just a couple days ago. Yeah. Literally yeah. like right. Saturday, Saturday yeah. Yeah. right? So we I invested a lot of money over this off season and I purchased a lot of new parts. I got new things, I got a new crew chief and all the things, right? And one of the uh, things I changed was my injector hat. And while my injector hat, it shows, or, you know, we have a throttle stop for the burnout because then you don't, when you hit the gas, you're not going to go full bore 11,000 right. horsepower on a right. burnout, right? right? So when I hit the gas, the throttle stop was not adjusted correctly. Oh. <laughs> and no. it was like real exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the best part of my job is I'm down track waiting for her to get to me because I help her back up every time. Okay. And it's coming to me and she's like, whoa, I'm doing this burnout. And I'm like, like yeah. Sideways. And it's hard because I'm stoked because I'm screaming like cool burnout, just like she's screaming cool burnout. But then it's, you can hear it and all the things. So then you go right back at, oh, no, we need to fix this. Cause yeah. This isn't right. <laughs> yeah. But and it was, and that's one of K- Katie's key, uh, jobs, especially to help me on the track, is uh, she helps me push the butterfly blades back in so it brings the idle down. So I can only do so much in the car. Sure, like, right. I can adjust mm-hmm. so much, but she will physically touch the blades because yes. you can fi- you, can, so you can hear, hear it. it you right can behind everything. your head, right? Mm-hmm. Her yeah, head. like, you yeah. can hear it, and, like, I feel like she looks at me, and I look at her, and I'm like, ah! We have a nice <laughs> conversation out there. Um, it's a lot of eye contact. It's, nice. it's a whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, huh? Yeah. Yes. It's a lot of eyes. eyes. (laughs) (laughs) We're in trouble. (laughs) Deep breath, deep breath. We do a lot of like the, like just calm down. (laughs) It's going to be okay. Oh my God. But especially with a brand new injector, they stick a lot. That's not an uncommon problem. And once you know it, you can hear it. Like it makes a significant noise. And then you can hear it when it comes back down again. But it's naturally it feels like we're out there for 15 minutes yeah. dicking with the thing getting yeah. it to slow down yeah. and like it's been one whole second yeah. and we're out here <laughs> so it, <laughs> yes. yeah it's so time down. so time passes there but, is no time there is yeah no time. There is but no time. but it but it feels like it takes forever that yeah. whole butterfly effect yeah. kind of yeah. thing right yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like right. a matrix ever. it's like the matrix it, it is like Whoa. i feel like when i'm staging the car especially uh, last year at the world finals, I lined up against Mike Salinas first round and I had this idea in my head, what I wanted to do because he was a championship. He was in the championship hunt. If I, uh, when I race against him, he, if he won, he would keep going into the championship. Right. So I'm like, you know what? 
you're not going in the championship. So I, <laughs> I pulled back and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to like, I methodically thought of, you know, the process that I wanted to take. And so when I pre-staged the car, I sat and I sat and I sat and I waited until he pre-staged. Okay, cool. Pull the pump on the high side. All right, I'm just going to leave the clutch in for just a couple more seconds. And then he decides to bump in. And then I finally let the clutch out. And I, <sighs> then I bumped it in. So I have seven seconds to bump in once he bumps in. And then I left first, <laughs> which was a pretty cool accomplishment. <laughs> you know, the reaction times are really proud. tough in these cars. And then I won first round. And I literally kicked him out of the championship that, yeah. that round. <laughs> I might have talked some mad shit to his crew guys because uh, all the crew guys, we're, we're all friends. friends. We're all yeah. We all have lived together, roomed together. Mm. All of us girls are all friends with each other, been in each other's weddings. Like, it's deep in the pit yeah, We are yeah, all friends. Totally. And especially Mike Salinas' group, like, we're really good friends yes. with them. So, like, I'm on the starting line, like, ha, ha, ha. And, like, we get to the top end, and I'm like, that was great, guys, but you suck. Bye. Like, it was just so much fun <laughs> to get to have that yeah. one time, like, yeah. and especially with our friends. And, like, yeah. they're poking their heads out of the tow car. Dude, that was awesome yeah. keep going they like, all come up to me yeah. they're high-fiving me yeah. not even caring about mine right. it's great it's so <laughs> much fun because well, it's all about it's it's your strategy yeah it's it's yeah it's more than just stepping on the gas mm -hmm. yeah and the shoots releasing right it, it's, there's it's, so many yes. more steps yeah it's getting better at what you do and, yeah. and it's an all-encompassing thing yeah. yeah so they it's have to have mad it. respect for that i mean totally. you can't help but that it totally. was pretty funny this last weekend in phoenix <laughs> i uh i went against uh steve torrance yeah was, you know three-time world champion um just a three-time world champion <laughs> very <laughs> casual yeah. i wouldn't no casual. Casual. Deal at all. casual right <laughs> Um, and we're buddies, like we're all cool with each other. It's all good. Mm -hmm. And so when I went up there, I wasn't trying to play anything, but then he started playing something. I'm like, uh, uh, no, <laughs> 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 no. Nah, nah. So he starts, he's flickering the bulb and I see him flickering. So I decided to flicker the bulb. And then when My he got in, first flicker on ever. The tree, on, on the tree. The tree. Yeah. Yeah. Flickering. First flicker I just want to make that obvious yes. Yes. for our yes. listeners. On the tree. <laughs> yeah, on the tree. Uh, and he bumps in and then I bump in and I take one more chunk before I like totally get in and like the best part is and I, I lost the race but I still ran a great number for what I could and he ran something that was not Stupid. attainable for what yeah, I can do right sure. in this moment yeah. but uh we get out the top and he's like girl you were playing up there I'm like you were playing up there too and he's like good job I'm like good job to you <laughs> and, if, brought it. Yeah. Yeah. and if the camera would have been facing the staging or like the starting line behind us she flick a flick us and I'm like yeah <laughs> like first time that she flick a flick us and Steve Torrance does it to everyone yes. like it's, oh it's a game he plays uh, yes. so oh. it was like extra so extra that she did it to him yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. You have to do. Yeah, you that's do. what you have to do. Oh, that's, a, totally. that's amazing. And I totally. like the idea about the, the concept of taking another chunk because mm -hmm. that's before you red light, correct? Mm -hmm. So you're just like, I'm just going to dip my toe into this little yellow staging yes. light right yes. here and then go uh, One a more. little bit more. Yeah. It's I all, love that. It's all a strategy. Like when you're qualifying, you want to stage as shallow as you can so you want to barely just hit the beam because yeah. you want to have more surface area yep. to get down the racetrack yep. and then and it's how much race, yeah but on it's race all, yeah but technically on race day you're that much closer to the finish line yes yep. so it's all a, a play on what you want to do and especially as a comfortable as a driver yeah uh that i couldn't do it last year just because i didn't I didn't have the experience. the experience. Sure. So I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm here to, you know, just learn how to drive the car yeah. last year. And now I'm digging Watch into, it. yeah, like now yeah. I'm digging into, you know, okay, this person does that and that person does that. And I'm going to yeah. oh, yeah. try and, yeah. you know, benefit myself. Yeah. Just, you, it's it's part of the mindset of understanding. Like, like it is. It's, it's not... It's not a game, it's a strategy, like yes. you said, yeah. and it's really understanding what that is behind it, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's a big part of it. Yes. And then thinking about this, there's, I mean, this is again, twofold. Obviously you have to be in some, you have to have some level of fitness, right? In yes. order to have your guts all, <laughs> yes. and your vital <laughs> organs right yes. up against your right, rib cage. Right. But we'll get to that. Do you, 
watch video of other drivers to see how they do that? Is that part of your strategy? Yes, Can it is. Can you tell all on that? Yeah, yeah. That, that's <laughs> definitely part of the strategy. The beauty of the technology now is that they have in-car cameras. So I can literally see what they're doing, what their sequence is in the car as they're pre-staging, staging the car. Um, one thing that I've, you know, I think about it every day. Like I literally think about, I visualize myself hitting the gas and going down the racetrack yep. every day. Yep. And that's what keeps me as fresh Hitting as I can. Yeah. And especially like when I go to races with Paul Lee and I'm not driving and I'm standing on the starting line, I'm literally doing my whole sequence and hitting the gas when they hit the gas. Mm. Yeah. So it's just me seeing the tree repetitively. But no, I, I sincerely, like the biggest thing that I can offer to like a new driver is go through the sequence Every single day. Yeah. Visualize yourself going down the track. Yeah, Visually you're, you're talking about point, I, I don't even, tenths of seconds yeah. that are, <laughs> you know, the difference between yeah. winning and losing. And, yeah, yeah. It, it, and, and that's so it much is. of it's like, it really is a muscle memory. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's because so, yes. it's so fast of yeah. a situation. It really is once you just know all the steps, then you're not even thinking about it. Because the more I'm you think about like, it, then the more you mess yourself as, up. As yes. you said it, I'm like thinking like, okay, you're right. I see mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. <laughs> totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a mind game for sure. Yes. Okay, so you've got your mind trained. Mm -hmm. What do you do for your fitness? Uh, I go to a shout out to Who's Your Trainer yeah. with Monica. Who's, big fan. Who's Your Trainer? Who's, who's Your Trainer? Who's your, who's your, awesome. your, like, like tires? Yeah. Yes. I love it. Yeah, yeah. she's great. Uh, Us she, Indiana people are big into calling things Hoosier. Yeah, oh, a lot of Hoosiers. Oh, very We're cool. We're Hoosiers, you know. Hoos but uh, Yeah, no, that I literally go like three, four times a week, and it's all about, you know, building that muscle because when I hit the gas, I'm experiencing like four to five Gs. When that clutch locks up in the middle of the track, that's another one to two Gs. And then when I pull the parachute, that's a negative six to seven Gs. All within four seconds. So yeah, <laughs> straight back. Yeah. Uh -huh. That begs the question: How do you train for something like that? <laughs> um, they drop you. I, from I just, the... I, you don't. You don't. You <laughs> literally. Yeah. You like, have to do it. It's, you just it's have like to most do things. it. You just got to do it. Yeah. You just have to yeah. do it, and that's the the hard part. Is uh, I have one chance to make a perfect run. Sure. And I can't do it again for at least another hour and a half. Yep. That's okay. it. Like, yep. I can't turn it off, back up, and nope. start over. Right. I have one chance. Yep. And one analogy I always say is, like, making a top fuel run is a puzzle. Every single piece of that puzzle has to be perfect for me to get down the track. Like, yeah. Yeah. me included. Like, I yeah. have to fit perfect within that puzzle. Yeah. Uh, between the crew chief, between my crew, between, you car, know, the car else. and the parts. And, yep. you know, we're putting nitromethane in the tank, which is the most volatile, you know, substance that we can find because yep. it, it literally carries its own oxygen molecules. So it's combusting so much faster within the chamber with the, you know, added boost of the supercharger. It's just like, it's a bomb. Yeah. It's literally a bomb. So yeah. you've strapped a bomb to your butt. Yes, yep. I have. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I like it. Happy and about I, it. Love I love it. it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> There's so many more questions that I have now. When you started racing, <laughs> sorry, I'm commandeering, I'm commandeering the conversation. Right, right? None for you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> because this is now. Did you have you always been a great communicator or did this up your game in terms of communication? Oh. Oh, great. <laughs> well, great we'll question. Let, we'll, let, let, her. we'll let Katie answer. She uh, has I would an answer. Wait a second. 100% more to... animated. 100% <laughs> more animated about everything now. Okay. <laughs> because it's like ice in her veins now. And she's like, oh, all the time. Okay. All the time. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Time. But beyond that, really though, know. You you were talking about you've got to have your crew chief, you've got to have your this and your I don't even know all the people that she has to have. But now you have to deal with different personalities. Oh yes. Yeah, that's wow. uh that's one of the hardest parts of this whole job. Right. Um even working on Paul Lee's car, I'm the team manager for that as well. And the hardest part is finding that group, that group that clicks, that knows what they're doing, that, you know, they don't even have to talk, but they know exactly where to go in the motor. And this guy's going to hand over the rod and piston. This guy's going to shove it in. And there's no talking. Like, it's organized chaos. 
Yeah. It's and perfect. It, and yeah. it fits in that rhythm. Yes. And it's yeah. definitely a rhythm. But the personalities is tough. I mean, it, it's no lie. That's one of the hardest parts of this whole thing. Well, you're hanging out with a bunch of ego full <laughs> dudes yes. that think they're the best race car guy on the planet. Yes. And we're going to put them with eight more dudes that think that they're better. And it's, yeah. you and gotta then have find where everyone can fit in the game. And then have a uh, badass uh, babe behind the wheel. And they're going to be like, what about me? It's it definitely the the whole like girl thing does take a toll on some of the guys. <laughs> it definitely does. And it doesn't we, help that we come as a tandem. Oh yeah. As aggressive as we are too. Yes. Like we will wreck you on the first wreck day. You. And we, we, we kind of tell you. them like we've had a new guy that came with us at the end of last year. And I and I'm excuse my language, you're gonna have to bleep some of this. I straight <laughs> told the guy at the <laughs> beginning, <laughs> I was like, if you don't like that's what she said jokes and get mucked. <laughs> And having some other random thing told to you that's probably not right, but we're going to mess with you all yeah. day, go away. Like, right. do not come over here. Yeah. And if you think right. it's the boys, you're wrong. It's me and yes. Krista. Yeah. <laughs> and that's and it. And if you don't like right. Shania Twain or yeah. Fergie, <laughs> you're yeah. out. You're so out. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Literally, the group I we have with it. us this weekend <laughs> Um, they're all dads and stuff, like a super cool group. And again, our playlist the first day, because it was on my Pandora, was like Blink-182, no big deal, nice and casual. And one of them pokes their head in the trailer and they're like, man, the music over here is it's good. Like, it's not like, like classic just rock. Wait. And I was like, no, 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 this is light duty. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, wait till you get on the homemade playlist. Because like when that comes for you, you don't even know. When it comes for yeah. you. Yeah, and by uh -huh. Sunday, and we're having a dance party because that's what we do. Yes. They're like, what are we listening to? Yes. And I'm like, well, if you guys learn some of the words, take it home to your kids. You can be super dad. And they're like, yeah, yeah no, we don't want to know these words. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Whatever. There's a lot of Fergie, a lot of Lizzo, a lot of Shania Twain. Uh, yeah. We had a lot of Spice Girls this Spice last weekend. Spice Girls were yeah. a hit. Yeah. They were a hit. We had Man Eater. We had Man Eater. And that was oh hilarious. And what's All funny the guys is when are the, standing and out the there. boys start to embrace it, and then one of them's like, Man, I haven't heard this song in like 15 years. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, you're old. And then we just keep going to what we're doing. Like, <laughs> right. It's it's just constant. Like, we will run the bus over you harder than anyone. And we're always on the same wavelength. Yeah. Like, it'll come out of our mouths at the same time. Yes. And they're not ready well, to go. Well, I, I know. And, and this comes down to the legacy baby thing because it is. It really is like, this is how it is in the garage, you know? There is no, like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't nah. mean to step on your toes nah. or something. Get your shit done. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just and go. Get the hell out yeah. 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 And totally. especially in the drag race pits, like, it's a rough group. Yeah. It really is a rough group. And if you can't take shit, don't think about yeah. giving it because they're going to be right behind yeah. you. If so you have like, thin skin, uh -uh, right? you are not right? going to make it. And, and that's the thing is a lot of people come down to like, Oh, how is it that you're women and what are these challenges? Well, and that's the thing. I don't care. I don't care who you are. You have challenges. There is something that that someone's going to be like, oh, they they could say anything to you. Like, you don't know what you're doing. You, it, it could be because you're a woman, because you're a guy, because you just started this, because of your skin color, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. You are, everyone is going to run into those challenges. It's like, but yes, <laughs> you need thicker skin, right? Yeah, like you already know, thick. like that's coming towards you yeah. and bring it. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, just the, the sheer it's amount challenge of accepted. Yeah. The yeah. sheer yeah. amount of rumors that go okay. around. Sure. It's like, oh my God, I would yeah, never have to do that. Yeah. Think that. Like we're secret lesbians. At like this it just, point. like right just, it's a whole thing. And it I, just keeps right. going. But and yeah. the best part is like the whole right. pit knows who my fiance is and her boyfriend is. Like, yeah. yeah. And it just but they, yeah. Still yeah. Thing. But they yeah. got a shit talk. But then we do things that don't help. And like last weekend, uh, Q1, another guy we raced against, <laughs> his new girlfriend jumped out of the top end and came and like licked all over him and it was disgusting. And she looks at me and she's like, my backup girl doesn't do that. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, wait then. And Q2, after we go 384 and we set the road on fire and we're so excited, proud of ourselves, I'm like, you, I'm running to her. You know exactly what's coming for you. And I lay a giant kiss like, on her. And as like, I'm no. standing there waiting for Amanda yeah. to like interview me, she's like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, what do you do? This is what you want. What are they doing over yeah. here? The best part is Amanda's like, you want okay. Yeah, Amanda wasn't ready either. <laughs> well, that's my kind of no, but finals. I know, <laughs> but it's about feeling comfortable with yourself and doing those things. And that's the thing is like, 
it's it's overcoming any of that. And, oh, yeah. and yes, are there going to be people that are talking about you or saying things? It's not about focusing on that. It's about focusing on, on what you want, you know? And so I love that you... It, can I ask how old? I don't want you to ask how old we are. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, I know I'm you guys proud. are younger. I mean, you guys are getting into this. I love seeing that you have so much energy on and focus on just doing it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just, yeah. What I'm else are we going to do? Yeah. I don't know anything else, really. Totally. The, totally. That's it. And, and do you think some of the, you know, I mentioned like. GTS Customs Corvette Specialists. Passion is the driving force behind every design, every build. Innovation taking the client's dream car places never thought possible. Not just seductive form, but flawless function, showcasing today's technology in yesterday's classic curves in luxury and in performance. Head over to highoctanehustle.com, shop the brands page, and check out GTS Customs Corvette Specialists. Baja Forge, it isn't just the products and it's not just a brand, it's a way of life. At an early age, traveling to Baja was one of my fondest memories. It was about venturing to unknown destinations. It was the freedom of exploration and really slowing down to enjoy the amazing world and the people we have in it. Baja Forge is about helping you embrace adventure. Baja Forge, signature vehicle builds and off-road products built to forge your own path. Visit BajaForged.com today. Seeing that, I think, you know, some of it probably did come from the legacy part of it. Do you think it's like, you know, how you were raised? No, you were hardcore. My mom yeah. would ride the bus over us all the time. Like, I used to say all the time, nobody picked on me harder than my own mom. Yeah. So when I got to high school, peer pressure was nothing because, dude, my mom's burns are worse yeah. than yours. Like, it just, but we were raised, you were raised shoot, to be tough. Her mom's burns are way oh, worse than anyone top else's. Top notch. My mom was raised by the yeller. It was just top notch. But it's, yeller. The yeller. But it's, you you know, we were raised right? to be tough. Because, because you're like, I got to bring my game because yeah, this yeah. game's up here. Exactly. I got to bring my game. Yeah. And we were raised at the racetrack where yeah. you were around all the other guys and you were taught mm -hmm. you, that you could get hurt or yeah. all these things. You know, it's just, we yeah. were raised so, to be tough. Yeah. I think so that was if you want to be around it, and yeah. this is it. Yeah. And at that point, they raised the bar. Yeah. They didn't keep yeah. lower. No, I love that. And you were saying that you noticed that like around the track, like there isn't a lot of that out there. But this is what it takes is mm -hmm. yeah. you being out there and doing it. Like, it doesn't matter if it's not out there. If yeah. you want to do it, do it, you yeah. know? So. I think for us, there's a lot of clout, too, in that we're girls. We're the yeah. daughters. The, we're the few girls. There, most all mm -hmm. the people of my mom's group, her mom's group, all, there's a lot of boys. Yeah. There was a lot of sons. We're, we're, there's only two or three other daughters that are our age and doing it. And we don't... <laughs> yeah. We have no aspirations to get married to a crew guy. Like, that's not what we're here for. We're yeah. here outside. We're doing, doing it. I mean, yeah, yeah. she's getting married. <laughs> she's a new yeah. fiance. But it's, totally you know, it's, that's not the goal here for us. The goal is, like, like we've been picking on, we ain't never going to change our names when we get married. Because yeah. these no. are our names, and we've, we've built our names to be something spectacular. And it's something to be said for the fact that, yeah, you expect all the boys to do it, but we're standing here like, you know, we're – giving them a run for their money like awesome yeah Good. we have a place here and and we're shoving yeah. ourselves in it so. i also think it's uh one aspect that we get that if you don't work for it you're not getting it yeah agreed uh -huh. yeah agreed. like there's no way like i had to work and prove to my grandpa that yeah. i was ready to do yeah. this top fuel thing yeah. totally. and i had to you know buy my own a fuel operation yeah. race my a fuel operation mm -hmm. go through the trials and tribulations you need and to hustle, hustle. Yeah, yeah just there. trial yeah. and tribulation no of doing freebies. all this. There yeah. was no, no freebies. freebies. Yeah. No, when people say blood, sweat, and tears, mm -hmm. there's a reason why people say that because you go through emotions, you have to physically work your ass off to do most of it, yes. you know, and it is. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like you're, you're, you're sweating, you're crying, you're trying to figure it out, you're just right. doing it. I mean... All of that comes into play. And then there's the play. added dude on the other side. Well, it's because you guys are girls. Yeah. <laughs> or it's because you're the Greek's granddaughter. Yeah. Right? Like it comes with that. Constantly. Constantly. With that being said, yeah. right? 
there's even added pressure within that because sure. now there's a level of expectation yeah. and they expect you to fail. And there's stuff yes. that we can't do, but all the boys can do and the boys can do it and it's fine. But if we do it, we never hear the end of it. And yeah. it's right. like, okay, cool. So you're always trying to tread one, between sure. some yeah. expectation well, line or whatever. Yeah. Because you guys are making your own path too. It yeah. is, it is a newer path like that and, and people don't expect it. And so they don't know. And you're like, no, I'm just doing this. And they're like, yeah. Yeah, but that hasn't been done. You're like, I didn't that's, ask if it has been. That's okay. exactly right. how I feel because a lot of the time, like in the interviews, they're like, oh, you're the new, you're the fresh face of NHRA. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just doing what I wanted yeah. to do. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? But yeah. I, I'm, I'm grateful that yeah, I can right. lead this next generation into, you know, yeah. hopefully the hot rodding community can come back into, you know, everything. Yeah. But it just, it's. It is an added pressure. Like, oh wow, I my decisions I make today are going to affect me in the next year or two. Sure. And you know, getting a better car, getting you know a better setup, and just continue to build what I what I've grown so far. So yeah, that's to heck with the pressure that you put on yourself. Now yes. on top of it, <laughs> yes. there's this additional pressure, and then you've got as legacy babies, you've got that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we and dread so the phone call from grandpa when something goes wrong. <gasps> yes, but, it's, but but I think what what I think is really beautiful is looking at the fact that you're in this world. You guys have known each other since. What was it? Your moms were best friends. My grandparents were best friends. Well, oh, that's and, so and, bad. And yeah. you look and, and it was destined to be. How do you keep your how do you keep your relationship so fresh? Oh. <laughs> Besides oh licking God, her face. So Besides the occasional we, I mean, we live ten minutes away from each other. Okay. And we joke, we're in a group text. There's three of us couples, my boyfriend and her and our sprint car friend and his wife. And it's literally 4.30 in the afternoon. Hey, what's for dinner tonight, guys? And everyone rattles off what their dinner plans were and we vote who's were better and then we do that. And we all go as a group. And it's <laughs> okay. almost every it. night. And it's, hey, we're going it. to the gym, okay? Yeah. Or, hey, I'm going to this, you want to come? Or, yeah. my mom got tickets to this, let's all go. Or, we're going to the sprint car races. Like, it's, we're a little group. And we do yeah. everything together. Like, yeah. we don't know how to do anything alone at this point. <laughs> well, and I don't think, I mean, you're in a very unique business, right? right? Because, because it's not, not just being in the automotive business. It's not just being in the motorsports. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the, the, the one of the 100 of the 100,000 going yeah, ever this fast yeah. type of thing. I mean, do you think that the idea of the madness of what you're doing draws you guys even closer together? I think it, uh, one thing that Katie knows, like if it was a bad run, she knows mm -hmm. and she feels it with me because mm -hmm. she's watched this whole journey since the beginning and you know, like she can tell when I'm like super down, like something that I chose, like my decision on track affected us or mm -hmm. we lost the round or whatever it may be. Yeah. And, but then again, like she's also been with me where it was like 321 yeah. right <laughs> and so just the 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 best part is like having her as like a staple through this wave of emotion mm -hmm. that I go through every weekend because it is a wave of emotion yeah. Yeah. when I get yeah. like I have to keep like that. I have to keep my energy up like yeah. this adrenaline rush like yeah. I've crashed and burned sure. physically yeah. like mentally a yeah. few times and like I'm like I can't I have to go lay down mm -hmm. yeah. and then she'll pick up the slack on yeah. you know whatever it may be I or, mean it's like anything when you have your best friend who's your best friend or like yeah. sisters or yeah. whatever you know you've been with each other so long I know what that face means yeah. I know what that deep sigh means yeah. I know when we're having a meltdown and we're sucking it in so nobody can see the meltdown right. but I know we're having a meltdown mm -hmm. like it's just those yep. things because yeah, all eyes are on yeah, because yeah. we've been together, or and guys, I know yeah. the thing. To, yeah. <laughs> gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. I know that the thing to say because yeah. she would know what to say to me. I mean, yeah. there's been plenty of times we've been at the racetrack, and someone will come find me because for whatever reason now a different thing is happening, and I'm over here, or whatever. Judy, I got Chris needs you right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I roll up and I'm like, bro, what's the deal? And then she's like, we're either crying or we're whatever <laughs> we're doing, and it's like, okay let's fix this let's figure it out yeah. like but we've been together our whole lives she does just as many things yeah. for me like it's just it's when you're with someone that you actually know and you're friends with and you've been through the highs and the lows and all of the shit in between i know what she's doing i know what's going on in my little brain so yeah mm -hmm. and i mean a lot of it even even you saying that like like you know creating this path and stuff 
you just know in your heart if you want to do something or not. You're either in it or you're not in it. And you're just like, I don't know where it comes from. It mm-hmm. just comes from inside of me. Mm-hmm. This is who I am. I yeah. who I know how to be. And you know, because people don't get it sometimes. Like, mm-hmm. well, why? Why would you want to do that? And what what's driving you? You're like, I don't know. Sometimes it's yeah. just the way I'm built. It, right? Yeah, it's like it, yeah. it's an internal mechanism in I'm all wired. of us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then to have someone else that they just want to support you in that and what that is and, and you too, like the legacy and what that, nope, this is what I want to do. I mean, yeah. not everyone is going to get it mm-hmm. as long as you get it. Yes. That's all that yeah. matters. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think this would be the perfect time to introduce, because I, I don't know. Burning have you? So. Oh, <laughs> Our producer is saying no, no, no. It's like no, He's like, stop. He's like, that hurts. Wait, can, can I take a picture again? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with Katie. I've randomly shuffled these cards and just pick whatever you want, and then if you, I would pass love it to over. read the question to you. This is a good one. What was the last food? You binged on. Yeah, taco. <laughs> yes. Wait, 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 wait a minute. We got body. we got to the West Coast last Wednesday, yeah. and it's been a week. We've had it four times. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Per- and what do you get from Del Taco? Two Del Tacos with fries mm, and Del a Fanta. Tacos. Wait, wait. It's the thing. Have you been to Barstow Del Taco? Oh, yeah. Not this time. Ooh, oh, okay. not this time. But, but yes, we have. You yes. know of the Barstow oh, yeah. Del Taco. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. On your way to Vegas. Oh, yeah. Uh, please oh, yeah. do explain. What? <gasps> wait. Shut up! <laughs> you are missing out, Jane. Jane. What? You guys, you? I've never had Del Taco. <gasps> what is wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You are fired. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I had Del Taco on the way here. That's my lunch. We're probably gonna get tacos. Del Taco I'll be here. Yeah. Jason will be like, I could eat a bean and cheese burrito every single day. Probably. You could or he could. Yeah, oh my god. And Jason goodness. gets so mad. He's like, No, I'm not my husband. He's like, Why? Why are we go? No, we're not going there. I just. I also love In and Out. That's a oh. California thing. No, yeah. Well, we've been down on In and Out. Yeah, Del, uh, I'm like, with you on the Del Taco. We, that's okay. If we, like, if the team wanted to go, yeah, which we'll we go. did in it's Phoenix, fine. we go. Yeah. Like it's not bad. No. Like I'm not gonna say no way In and Out. Uh-uh. But <laughs> if you had but to Del pick, Taco. but Del Taco, Del Taco. Yeah. All day. And or we call it West Coast Jack in the Box because, like, we grew up yes. here, so like it's all our food. All yeah. our fist jacks. There's Jack in the Box, East Coast, Midwest. So Sucks. they're just not. So the where same did you guys grow up then? I you, was down in Orange County in, okay. in Laguna Niguel. Because that's where, like, your family, like... Family's from Los Alamitos. Okay. But, so we okay. moved a little so bit Cal further Lowe. down. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Okay. What I grew you? up in Upland, but my oh, okay. family is originally from Chicago. Okay. And then my, when my mom met my dad, they moved to Upland. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So yeah. when did you move to the, the Midwest? Midwest? I moved five years ago. I'm going on, like, eight or nine. Yeah. Okay. She was a few years before So me. So you followed her. Yes. yes. Good girl. Yes. Oh, yeah. Good it's girl. not because of, you know, this fiance thing. No. Uh-uh. Oh. Katie. <laughs> I will say. I missed my best friend. <laughs> well, I will say. I was. I, even Bobby says it. That, like, the fact that I was there was, like, the extra push. Yes. And the yeah. race car is there. It's like, yeah. <laughs> if it would have just been Bobby, it probably would have no. taken her way longer to get there, in yeah. all honesty, until the actual race car came. Because she moved before, really, a race car was there. But I was there. And he's like, well, yeah, we like Katie. And, just, and Bobby all the time will say that. It was the sales yes. pitch. Yeah. It was, it was the sales like, pitch. I was begging her to come, please, then, come here. And then, before I even got on the plane, he's like, I'll make a deal with you. I'm like, okay, I like deals. He's like, I'll do the laundry forever if you did cook. I'm like, done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sucker, he still does the laundry. Still does the laundry. <laughs> and half the nights now they come to have dinner at my house. So she's oh out of cooking God. even more. Yeah. And the other half. As long as you eat, yeah. Yeah. let's just change that. Yeah. As long as you eat, we're yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. The Guess what? One. It's your turn. And Jane, we're going to Del Taco. No, not tonight. I, I'm like, I'll, Bar- I, I'll oh, go. On the way to, Easter, to Jeep Bar- Easter Jeep Safari. Easter Jeep Safari, we're going we to will Del go. Moab. Oh. <laughs> this is so cute. I know. <laughs> what was the best phase in your life? Oh, shoot. I guess the current one. Ah, the current yeah. one. That's why I went, oh. 
<laughs> the one right now yeah. sitting at this table with oh, you ladies. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Totally. It's all about being present in the moment. That's yes. when you're enjoying life, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Just yes. like those couple of seconds that you're behind that <laughs> yes. look like, it is. Yeah. I it mean, really, I remember a um, little sidebar. First date that I had with Greg was at the Winter Nationals at Pomona. Mm-hmm. And that year, Shirley Muldowney popped a wheelie Ooh. in her pink dragster. Yeah. I thought that was pretty rad. Like okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I think I like the cheetah better. <laughs> I have. I have some vans that have cheetah print on them. We do you? We do, too. Yeah. Good girl. We have, lots of we have like a few Good. pairs. Girl. Oh, nice. oh it my actually gosh. Does. We have custom ones, too. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. We got those, too. Um, we go deep in the vans game. Oh, that's yeah. actually right? Me too. why that's we so chose. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. why cheetahs on the car is because we have cheetah vans. Yeah. It literally right? came from on. our shoes. One more time. Perfect. I know. It literally came from our shoes. Love it. When I started, well, back when I was starting autocrossing, I specifically got vans. I didn't wear race shoes until I was on road course, but I had cheetah vans for racing autocross. It helps so much. It sounds like she's like, oh yeah, see? Oh yeah. There's like the winning There's something about (laughs) it. It's a vibe. Yeah. It's it's a whole vibe vibe for the whole pit. You know how many girls and women have never been to a drag race before and they come up to me and they're like, you're our favorite car because we love your scheme. And like, I'm like, that is awesome. Like, yeah. Thank you for coming. Like, well, thank you for telling me that. Yeah. Like, it just you know keeps me going totally. on these crazy schemes that I keep coming right? up with. <laughs> let's just let's just also tell our audience what's on the butterfly. Oh, yeah. It's a cheetah. Yeah, cheetah it's eyes. rad. Cheetah eyes. It's so rad. Yes. I don't know if you've seen it, but I, I like we literally you have look at it. like on the injector butterflies. So one of the rules the NHRA came up with this year is that we had to have a different color on our butterfly because they want to see like they want the audience to see like when we're peddling it or whatever and so rules super loose and then funny fact tony pedragon who used to race a nitro funny car he painted my injector which is the blue sparkle and then he's like you need some cheetah eyes on here boom the next week i put the cheetah eyes on there and then that has been like one of the best things because like every time i like come with it oh yeah Every time I like roll off the track, I can see the boom camera come at me and it's not coming at me. It's coming at the injector nice. above me. Awesome. You know what I mean? Nice. So, awesome. but it, it, um, going into more of that and showing like, you know, my personality, like yep. I'm very grateful that I'm in the position where I own my own car. I can do whatever I want and I put whatever I want in the car. So cool. it's bling and cheetah print this year. Nice. I love it. Nice. I no, love a big it. part of, of, I mean, <laughs> Design news, my name. Right. A big part of life is design. It's it's your personality. It's like an extension of you. You know, your car, your shoes, all of that. It 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 tells the vibrancy of who you are too. You know, it's like it's yeah, it's huge. It's my favorite part. <laughs> I love it. I love it because I love your aesthetic. I love your aesthetic. You're super awesome. Oh yeah, her jewelry. We have. Oh my I gosh, know. we haven't even we talked the about that. Music, but we didn't really. I mean, t- touch on actually what you do, Katie, and and what you know besides what we pull, pull in dra- right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so one of your other hobbies. My other hobbies. When we, you know, it all 18, 19, 20 year olds, you start having to make the decisions. What are you going to do with your life? How are you going to make money? How are you going to do what you want to do? Whatever. And I didn't fall from the lucky tree of getting to drive anything, but I knew I wanted to be in racing and I was good at welding and crafting and all these things. So I was like, well, I can make stuff like this could be cool. And because I am a girl, when all those other guys that are doing it are guys, as a girl, I come with a different taste level. And I was like, yeah, I can make stuff that chicks want. I can make stuff that actual race chicks in this game will yeah. like. Because you know you go anywhere and there's race car jewelry. And it's sure. like oh, lame. stupid things. A yeah. bunch of checkerboards and nonsense. Lame. That, oh, it's just you're <laughs> not going to do it. Or you know you go to Hobby Lobby and there's that little island of the race car stuff. And it's terrible. Like, <laughs> lame again. Trash. You're not going to buy it as a race car person. You aren't going to put none it's of that in your house. not authentic. At all. Yeah. So I... <laughs> Started Apple Girl Art because apples don't fall far from trees. And I started making stuff. And it's turned into this huge thing. I make jewelry. I make sculptures. I make trophies for a bunch of stuff. 
Uh, thankfully, I have a friend with a race car that makes a lot of trash. And so... <laughs> yes. I do I, make a lot of trash. I start making stuff out of all Reese's. the stuff that... Yeah. 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 Literally, I've been yelling at our crew chief all weekend, you're not going to throw those away, right? Like, you got to keep that for me. But it's a big part of it. And, and I've created quite a thing that I'm doing next to her being cool because, you know, everyone's got to bring their game along. Right. But... I found a way to get to stay here. I found a way to get to go to the racetrack every weekend. I found a way yeah. to get to be a part of it and make money and, yeah. and actually have a seat at the table, really. But it also follows her, you know, legacy yes. of designing yes. and making and fabricating right. and then taking, you know, this idea way over here in this mm -hmm. thought process and bringing it down and yeah. making mm -hmm. a seahorse. Yeah. 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 And like you said, you, <laughs> yeah. you knew you wanted yeah. to be by the track. So how do I get there? But still make my it. it and that's the thing is a lot of people don't even think about all those things, like not necessarily like, well, this is just what I want to do. And then later on. But you were like, OK, no, I just want to be around here. I'll figure it out along the way. And that. That's such a great idea and concept that, that a lot of people, like, forget about. Yeah. You know? It's, I think a lot of it, when you're trying to decide, like, what to do with your life, whatever. Yes. It's so much about a little bit of the destination. Like, yeah. what's the goal here? Yep. Yeah. Instead of just this lofty thing, like, oh, I'm going to go get my doctor degree. Well, yeah. What are you going to be a doctor in? Yeah. What are you going right. to do with it? Like, yeah. And where do you want to end yeah. up? And thinking real world. And for me, it was all about being at the racetrack. That was yeah. all I wanted sure. to do. What so how I do can to, I yeah. make this work? Well, and that begets the next point that says that's making it tangible for other young women that might not have the opportunity to, I don't know, own their own race car, yeah. but whatever. I would not recommend it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Would not. Race car uh, You know, yeah. you will cry at the diesel bill that your toter goes through. Just, don't you will be mad so. at how much stuff you tear up and give to your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that that's awesome because there's something, when you really think about it in the automotive world, especially for women, there's something for all of us, yeah. you know, on some level, whether it's creating art from Krista's trash or, you know, just kind of, I don't well, know, developing it, yourself. It is. It, I mean, one of the conversations we had right before this too is like, it is, you know, you tell people like, oh, I'm in automotive or something or, you know, I people like instantly, oh, you're a mechanic and it's dirty and all these, and you're like, what? No has nothing to do with that. Like, Check it's really cool. And this is what I do. And, and I go this fast. And, yeah. it, you know, it's, you know, the idea of changing that stereotype of what people think, you know, women do or what a mechanic is or what being around cars means. Like, all of, all of these types of ideas of, like, no, like, we're – we're, we're not pushing the limits of doing that. We're just doing what we know what we're supposed to be doing. And that's what's so funny about it because a lot of people are, oh, you're, like you said, like, oh, well, this is going to help change things like that. You're like, uh, awesome. <laughs> it's cool that I can do that too along the way. Well, and, and the, my favorite part is whenever I meet with someone at a trade show or whatever, I'm the director of marketing for McLeod Racing, Silver Sport Transmissions, and FTI Performance with Paul Lee. And my favorite, whenever I meet someone new and they shake my hand and I hand them my business card, you know, whatever, and we're talking about, you know, I'd like to sell an ad at this rate or whatever it's going to be. And then someone chimes in, usually uh, Vice President Bob Scheid <laughs> chimes in and he's like, do you know what she does on the weekend? <laughs> and I'm like, Bob, that's not part of the conversation that we're trying to sell a clutch right here, but okay, like go ahead and tell them. And then it turns into this whole other like tangent conversation. I'm like, but what about the clutch you want to buy? <laughs> can we can we bring it back here? <laughs> and so, but that's the like the astonishment you know that people see. They're like, oh wow, like you do that too. You're and like mild mannered Clark Kent, <laughs> and then okay, not Clark Kent, but oh, you wait, get the picture. Really there you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Krista Baldwin, <laughs> KB. <laughs> Oh, I, I see a shirt thing. opportunity there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we just did that for yeah. you. We I want one first. Fun side of, I created an alias. <gasps> so my favorite thing, because I was really big on, because I am a girl and this whole thing, I didn't want to use my name in my branding because oh. I didn't want a bunch of old dudes to come for me and be like, oh, well, you're only using that because it'll get you some social clout. Sure. I wanted to make my own clout because yeah. yes. I'm, I'm respecting my name enough that yeah. I'm doing my name justice. I'm not using it to get me anything because I don't need it, but it's a nice little bonus when someone knows it. 
<coughs> Marcel. But so, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's, for me, like, my favorite, favorite thing is when I'm somewhere and someone sees my ring. And they're like, oh, that's a really cool ring. And I'm like, oh, thanks. And they're like, yeah, there's this really cool chick on the internet. She makes those. And I'm like, no way. Do you know her? And I'll get really, really far down this conversation messing with someone. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, dude, that's you, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh but my it's gosh. really I, fun I, to I get the other side of that. We're going to need to order some. Oh, oh yeah, we oh, will no, get you. Awesome. We will get you. That's yeah. right. Because yeah. I was eyeing that, and I'm like, wow, that's oh, no, really I cool. Said, I went on before. I was like, oh, these are awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Stocking. Yeah. Oh, but, <laughs> speak it up. You know, thank you, you for this. Also, you let us. Yes. Uh, everything I have is available at applegirlart.com, and it's oh, applegirlart on all the social webs. All yeah. Things, but that's social amazing. Webs. How long is? Oh my goodness! There's always someone in the peanut gallery. Oh yeah, Jeez. That's that's the backseat good. driver over here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's well. I I was gonna get to that. Okay, they're they're giving us the wind it up, wind it up, you chatty Cathy's. And they don't want to hear us. Time, time, time is done. Time is done. Yeah, I don't want to out forever. I really yeah, wanted to know. <laughs> Where are you racing this weekend? Please um, tell our viewers. Racing at the Winter Nationals at the new In and Out Pomona Drag Strip. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's gonna can be, we still get tickets? You can still get tickets. Yeah. Yes. We have, I want a pit pass. Yes. We you run we run make one run Friday, two runs on Saturday, then hopefully I can make four runs on Sunday. Oh heck awesome. yeah. Awesome. So we're following Apple Girl Art on Instagram. That's at Apple Girl Art. Yep. On the egg. The egg. And <laughs> the gram. The gram. On the gram. On, on the all the social, social webs. On all the interwebs. All, all the things. things. Yeah. Yes. And then how do people, how do our our uh, followers, how do our audience find you? Super simple. It's just Crystal Baldwin Racing. Oh, my goodness. Then, right? Yeah, KBR. It's just easy. Uh, it's just easy. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Yeah. You hear that? Do it. Easy. Shoot. Easy. I feel like I could sit here and talk to you guys for a couple more hours, but we've already been... Shushed. Yeah. yeah. We're getting the... <laughs> we've been shushed. We've been... We're getting the fish hook. The fish hook. The fish yeah. Hook. Oh, my gosh. Done. Thank you guys so much. This Thank you for this having is, us. This, yes. this was so good. just fun. so much yes. fun. Oh, my gosh. Let's do it again. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Next week. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. That's what a good time. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh. Next I, time next I will totally Moab. we'll be in Moab, but we'll come to you. <laughs> Some point we will come and to we, you. We will have Del Taco. You can meet and us we at the Barstow Del yes. Taco. Del, Del let Taco. Us know. Oh time. my gosh. We're there. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. I'm so Fast great. Lane Jane. And I'm Design Muse. And this was High Octane Hustle with Katie and Krista. Two badass babes. Holy moly. Until next time.